Brandy Peterson, the home caught fire near 27th and Avenue A this afternoon. The couple was at work, and as you heard, their kids were in school. None of them can go home tonight. KETV News Watch 7's Jeremy Maskell joins us live with this developing story. Brandy and Rob, within the last two hours, Council Bluffs Police Crime Lab was digging through whatever they could at the home, trying to find any piece of evidence to catch whoever vandalized and possibly burned that family's home. Rain can in no way extinguish what Shelly Owens feels seeing this. I'm very angry. As investigators pull what they can from her burned up home, hoping to find evidence. I'm just fortunate that my kids were in school. Owens got the call around 2.30. First, that her home was on fire. Then she learned it was even worse. This is against me, I guess, and it's a hate crime. A hate crime because Owens is engaged to a man who is African American. Her kids are biracial. Investigators think someone broke into the family home Tuesday afternoon, tore the place apart, then broke out some spray paint. And that they wrote the N-word all over my walls. Sergeant Dave Dawson says he's working with firefighters on this. So far, it seems in this diverse neighborhood, Owen's home was the only target. We very rarely ever have any, any anything that, that I can remember for quite a while that would be related to a hate crime over here. At this point, Dawson says it's too early to tell what started the fire or who may be responsible. Owen says she has no clue. But sitting in the rain watching what unfolded here, she can only tell who's responsible this. You will be caught. We'll find out who did it. And Sergeant Dawson hopes there is some movement on this case in the next few days. If you saw anything suspicious in that neighborhood Tuesday afternoon, call Council Bluffs Crime Stoppers. The number is 712-328-4728. Guys, back to you. Jeremy, thanks.